Hello guys and welcome to this mod tutorial or spotlight or how you want to call it of Extra Cells 2. Now Extra Cells is an add-on to AE, Applied Energistics, and it started as a tool or a mod to add more of these uh, storage cells and other various of good items, but nowadays it's mostly about fluid storage and uh, fluid handling tools, but there are also a few good items that are generic for, well, for AE. So, but we'll cover the uh, most of the fluid stuff in this video, and then in the next part I will hopefully finish up with basically everything that's left. Okay, let's get started here. Since this is about fluids, we want to store our fluids somewhere. And well, a surface quartz tank is probably your best bet to do that if you want to stay true to the mod. So you can, as you can see in the Wayla tooltip, you can store around 32 buckets of, of, of fluid or liquid, and you can stack it on top. So if I just take another bucket, I take, all oh right, sorry. I'll take one, uh, one, one bucket of lava out of there and I can place it up here and they stack on top so it ends up down here. So 32 up here, 32 here, so you can, but I can't fill water then it will split up. But if I just continue with lava, then it will fill up to the top, okay? So what can we do with fluids? Well, lava is great for power generation. So here we have the fluid vibration chamber. It's an upgrade or something like that to the vibration chamber. But I can't put any liquids inside it. And well, if I can, I don't know how, but so we have to find some other way to put our lava in it to get, uh, to get power. And then we will come to that just over there. But there is also another way to store your fluids. If we take a look here first to craft the fluid storage component, then you combine it with a housing or build it directly like this. I think you can do yeah, fluid storage housing. You can do this as well and then just combine it with a storage, storage cell. Um, but this is how you do it directly. So 1K fluid storage, and it works very much the same as normal storage cells, but it's not, instead of 63 fluid types, we have five. And then you have, well, just fill it up. So down here, I have one of those storages. And if we take a look inside, well, you can see that the, the chest, the ME chest, it changes its, um, appearance when I put one of these fluid storages inside. The interface is quite simple. It's more simplistic than the, well, than your uh, normal crafting terminal. You have one slot for in and one for out. And I will demonstrate this. So if we take our water bucket, place it in the in slot, then the water will be dumped into the, the terminal and we can repeat this of course like this now we have two buckets of water now if I take my empty bucket place it here in the in slot then I need to select what type of fluid well I think it's better if I just fill with lava first and then demonstrate let's see one more bucket like that. So now I have two buckets of each and now I want something out. But to get anything out, I need to select what I want. So lava, select, and then I will get it. And we can see here, two, yeah, two buckets and uh, one bucket. So I can just do like this and just in and out. Very easy to use, no problem. But if, since there are crafting terminals, then you probably want a fluid terminal as well. So simply craft it. Check NEI for your pattern. 
place it, it looks very much the same and it works very much the same. So nothing strange here. Now we can move along to the vibration chamber in action. Here I have a toggle bus and when I flip that lever we will power the system and we will power the buses and things will start to happen. See lava is filling up. We had a storage bus here, an export bus here. The storage bus isn't formatted at all, but the export bus is formatted with for lava. So and you can just shift right click like this to set it. And what happened when I flipped the switch? Well, the system wanted to export lava into this fluid vibration chamber and that's slowly filling up our energy cell. And if you have seen these buses before, well, then you will, uh, <laughs> you will know how to use them directly. We have the fluid storage bus already mentioned. We have the fluid import bus. It works just as normal import buses and we have the fluid export bus. So if you know how to use them, great. Let's not go into details. And you can upgrade them with the redstone cards and other cards as well. But here's a simple system to just flip the switch, activate the import bus. Down here, I have an, uh, an export bus working in the opposite direction. And here's the same thing. So import, export, however you please. It works exactly how you want it to. And there are also many other items that works exactly how, it, how they do in, uh, as they do in AE. Fluid level emitter. You can, there are two recipes, just upgrade your level emitters with the lapis. So as you have seen, lapis is a very common uh, theme in this, uh, in this mod. As you can see, we have lapis for the storage component uh, and so on. So, and you can set it, uh, well, 16 buckets of lava, then emit the redstone signal. And here we have a 16 and we are emitting a redstone signal. So those things works exactly as they do normally, which means that we can move on to our second room. So as I said in the beginning, nor in the beginning of this mod, when it was just extra cells, I guess, then it worked as an will add, add on to add more storage cells. So these four are the normal ones from A2, 1K, 4K, 16K and 64K. And then in this mod, we also have 256K, 1024K and up to 16,000K storage cells. And these works exactly as normal recipes. If you take a look at the top tier one, this one, yeah. Then you have a housing, this part is the housing, uh, this one. So you have a housing surrounding a storage component and the storage components are built up by smaller storage components and, and, and so on. So if you know how to use them, you won't have any problem here either. And the same thing goes for the fluid storages. There are seven different types from 1K up to 4096K. And well, you craft them in the same way, way. So one final item for this video, well, actually two items, the fluid interface. The interface is very commonly used. It's used for recipes and uh, for inserting things into your network. Again, we have some lapis, iron and the formation cores that will give you the fluid interface. So what we have here is when you, if you compare it to a normal setup where you have items that you pump in or you just use a hopper, whatever, and send your items into an interface that will send them in, that will basically import them into the network. This works in a very same way. If we take the crescent hammer and hit the water one, it will end up in here, slowly, 
perfect. And you can see we have eight buckets of water here. And we can do the same thing with our resonant ender and lava, I think. So it's filling up and now we should get our lava as well. So the interface, very good way to use. All right. Yeah, this was a good, <laughs> the correct version of the flute act. So now in here we can store both items and fluids. And you can use the normal ME drive, it uh, works exactly as you would expect. So one final item before we wrap up this part of this uh, mod spotlight or tutorial. The blast resistant ME drive. It says work in progress, but it seems to be working quite well. Surround your ME drive with obsidian, use dense cable. You have only three slots compared to the tens that you have in uh, the ten that you have in a normal drive, but for some reason, it feels like it's worth it if you're in a hostile area. And with that, boom! I think this pretty much ends up ends this tutorial part. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I, that I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.